Hey, 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 it's me, Meatbag with Merck Pirate Party, candidate for governor in Utah. And today I want to talk about uh, the Donald Trump rally in Topeka, Kansas that happened uh, yesterday. That was, uh, what, Saturday the uh, 7th or 6th of October. Anywho, uh, he gave this rally and there, and, and there was something, you know, he reiterated a lot of things. But there were a couple of new takeaways that he's never mentioned before. The first one... Uh, I think it's actually really important, which is that African American, the African American poverty rate is the lowest in recorded history, which which is shocking because you know African Americans are like like they're seeing it in their pocketbooks that they're doing better off with Trump than they were with uh, the Democrats, particularly Obama and Clinton and even Bush. Like uh, the, their their quality of life is you know their 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 unemployment rate's the lowest it's ever been, but but. Also, their poverty rate is the lowest it's ever been, which I'd have to see statistics on that. But if it's true, it could really spell a, a death knell for the Republican or for the Democratic Party. Uh, because this is like the most consistently reliable uh, Democratic voting bloc is the, the African-American vote. They vote typically on the order of 80% plus Democrat. Now, if they're seeing their quality of life improve under Republicans the way that... Uh, uh, they haven't seen under under Democrats. In fact, they've typically seen you know that the with the Democrats they're just given free stuff and don't have to actually do things on their own, and they have no incentive to to do those things. You know, like like yeah, they're going to keep going for the free money. But now with the improvement in the quality of life for the African American population as a whole, this is a it's a really big deal because they're going to see that uh, in their pocketbooks and they're going to vote Republican. It uh, wouldn't surprise me if there, if there, if there really is going to be a red wave, as opposed to a blue wave, because all the people that are against Trump now are just screaming, screaming lunatics. You know, that's all they do is they scream and they yell. And, they, and I have no, no, nothing against protest, but you know, it, it's it gets to the point where where it becomes uh, obnoxious, and there's no better way to discredit your movement than by becoming obnoxious. Uh, so I, I see that the Democrats are on the way out. There's, there's no way that they're going to actually be able to put up any kind of reasonable challenge against Trump. The other thing is, uh, this is a, a second issue that he brought up that I'd never heard in any of his speeches before, uh, which is that when they get a deal with, uh, with Canada, like this USMCA or whatever it is, Donald Trump actually got, the, got a deal like with Canada to allow some kind of deal with the NFL and Canada. My guess is that the NFL has been trying to do a Canadian league kind of like, uh, kind of like, you know, the, the NBA has done and the NHL. I mean, they've, they've all got deals in both countries and teams in both countries. My surprise, I wouldn't be surprised if there are going to be a few more NFL teams that are going to be based out of Canada, which I think would be really cool. I mean, I don't watch football and I really could care less, but, uh, uh I'm all for growing of any industry, uh, uh, even that kind of, you know, mindless sort of stuff where you just watch guys throw around footballs and appreciate athletics. Sure. Like, I don't know. I'm not big into that, but, uh, you know, I, I think that the Canadian government has probably been putting a strong arm on the NFL to the point where it's cost prohibitive to even try to start an NFL team. Now, here's the thing is that uh, Trump said that the uh, the commissioner of the NFL gave him a call, and <laughs> and Trump was saying some of the effect of I, I don't know the, know the quote exactly, but he's saying I I get I get, I get this call from the from the commissioner of the NFL, and I'm thinking he's going to rail on me about about the whole standing for the flag thing, and then he calls and he's like, thank you, Mr. President. You know, no other presidents were able to do this. No other presidents had even tried. And Donald Trump's like, I did this in like two minutes and uh i didn't have to give anything up and and you know it was like two minutes worth of conversation the deal was done and the nfl didn't even know about it they had no idea that he was even trying to do that it was like a total surprise to them and they give him a call and say thank you you know that's that's really you know kudos kudos but uh that's about it i just uh i wanted to convey some new things that trump is, has uh has said during the the debates or the, the the rallies that I've never heard before. And I find them to be quite interesting. This has been Meatbag with Merck, a pirate party candidate for governor in Utah. 
like, share, subscribe, ring the little bell thingy down there at the bottom uh, so you can get updated on my latest videos and all of the amazing stuff that I do around here. And uh, give me all your money because I'm going to have it soon enough when I am Meatbag McMurk, a Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. Thank you.